Last night's I'm a Celebrity final. Did you see it? Yes, yeah, so reality... Oh, no, can I just say, spoiler alert, right? I know, unless you've been living under a stone, you probably know, but there'll be somebody that has recorded it and they're going to watch it, Steve, and I'm going to spoil their life. So, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know who won I'm a Celebrity, turn the volume down. And the winner was the reality star, Sam Thompson. <laughs> Of the, the winner of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here 2023, and the new King of the Jungle is Sam! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, Sam. Do you know what? I was, I was worried when he, jam when he jumped on... What's his called, his friend? Pete. Pete. Yeah. I was going to tip him over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been funny, though. But what you're thrilled, cos oh, you love him, I was so thrilled. I mean, he was my winner. When I knew he was going in, I said, he'll win it, because he is... That is him. There's no sides to him. He's not put anything on. That is Sam. He's a genuinely lovely, loves life type of guy. Mm. Um, and I love the fact he was in there, and it's such a hard show to do. Yeah. I mean, everyone that goes in, I have so much admiration for them anyway. But to see someone go in and struggle, but love every minute of it, mm. and he loved everyone in there. It's like his final trial. He was eating the most disgusting, disgusting things. And, and like, he's a really fussy eater. Yes, and really, bad. really struggling. But every time he did it, he was going, thank you, thank so, you so much. much. <laughs> And I know there will have been moments because of the way he is. Obviously, when you're in there and you're tired and you're hungry and you're stressed, there probably is days where you think, please shut up, Sam. But you can't help but love him. And so for me, he was the winner from day one. Well, I have to say, I am. Um... I, I understand what you're saying. Cos because you'd told me how lovely mm. he was and you said, oh, mm. he's just the nicest man. Uh, but that kind of, you know, puppy-like, yeah. excitable puppy. behaviour, yeah. I did think, oh, you know, you're lovely, but I would have to remove myself from you occasionally <laughs> just to <laughs> give my head peace. Like yeah. But when I heard them having the convers he was having the conversation with Marvin yeah. and Josie mm. and saying he's been this year diagnosed with ADHD, the minute he said that... Everything made sense to me. And yeah. after that, I loved him more, all yeah. his behaviours. And I think, Kelly, he's done an awful lot to raise awareness of ADHD. Yeah, I mean, he's done a huge amount to raise awareness because he was himself. And I think a lot of people... Um, there's, you know, there's a, still, unfortunately, quite a lot of stigma attached to having ADHD. My son has ADHD and, you know, people react to him differently because of that. But it's a shame, isn't it, that we have to have the diagnosis and the label to then understand the behaviour rather than just accepting the person. And you know what? I completely empathise with people because there are times where I go, OK, Regan, go to your room. Mm. Mummy needs a time out. Mm. But I do, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Sam, because Sam did say that he wished he had have had a diagnosis when he was yeah. young. Because he said he, at school he was just treated as if he was naughty and oh, stupid sometimes. Absolutely. And my son has a diagnosis and, unfortunately, is still treated at school sometimes without... Because he doesn't... Because he's extremely articulate and, you know, he's a very well-read person. He remembers facts and figures. So it doesn't present as though he has has ADHD, but there are certain types of his, you know, parts of his personality which people just label as annoying, fidgety or disruptive, mm -hmm. and none of those things are true. He's working twice as hard as the child next to him to sit, step, to sit still, to concentrate and to get on with his work, mm -hmm. but not rewarded for that because but he's compared he, to the person next to him. Would he love the fact, then, that Sam... There's Sam, very yeah. well-known personality from Made in Chelsea. He's won the jungle, yeah. you know, telling everyone, yes, I'm ADHD and, exactly. yes, I jump around it's, and, mm. yes, I'm yeah, excitable. it's so positive because you're seeing that being celebrated, he has won something. He's been popular and people have awarded him for that. And so ADHD does doesn't have to be a negative, negative label, mm. and, and that's what's wonderful about it. Yeah. I actually love um, his relationship with Tony Bellew, because when Tony <laughs> yeah. came in, you could see he was like, what is this guy? <laughs> yeah. 
and it's just yeah, he's really raw. I love the way Tony treats him. So did yeah. I. So he'd let him hug him and then he'd yeah. go, right, stop now. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> but the Leave first few times, his yeah. face Loved was him. just a picture, wasn't it? It's like, yeah. what's he doing? And then last night, when he'd won, I mean, the lovely things, oh. Tony was like, this is your winner. Yeah, yeah. This guy's amazing. amazing. And I just And also see Pete, Pete Wicks, who came and met him on the bridge here. They are best, oh. best friends and they do their uh, podcast together and all that. And I've just worked with Pete on on um, The Real Full Monty, mm. and so I'm really close to Pete. To see him be so much, he loves him, mm. and they are chalk and cheese, yeah. Pete and Sam, but they just love each other yeah. so much. Oh, but then Pete annoying. was on something this morning, um, I heard, sorry, Sam, and he was saying, Pete is the best friend. He said, he's the best friend I could yeah, ever he... have. <laughs> so they were all, it was yeah. one big loving. Yeah. Yeah. He can't help, he is like loving a puppy. Congratulations, Sam. You yeah. <laughs>